A question that often arises between students and customers is exactly how do I use watercolour pencils? Some people make the mistake of thinking that you dip them in water. Never do this. What will happen is the paint inside is paint. So when it gets wet, it will gradually seep away and you'll just be left with a hollow stick. Not ideal for working with. So I thought I'd show you a few ways you can use watercolour pencils. One way is simply just by putting colour down onto paper. These are Caran d'Ache Supercolour Watercolour Pencils and I'm using 300 gram Bockingford um, Knot Surface. So the harder you press the deeper the colour will be. Take your brush, load it with water, or you could use a, a, a water brush. And you can see here where the colour is thicker when you add the water, it is deeper. When you do it this way, you see you can overlay and mix colours. So if I put some yellow down first and a little bit of blue on top it's a really great way of getting a good blend of shades of colours so you could do a scene very easily sketch it out using a watercolour pencil and then um, colour it in like you would a normal pencil crayon and add water. Another way which is brilliant for holidays is before you go away use the side of your paper of each sheet of your watercolour paper pad scribble down the side. Now if you know you go into um, beaches you go for more um, blues and yellows. If you're going to Wales or somewhere, you'd want to use um, more green and earth tones. But just scribbling a few colours down, you can treat that as a palette. So really, when you go off out somewhere, you can just treat that like you would a watercolour set. So I'm just going to wet the paper here pick up some of the blue from the palette and do a nice wet in wet technique and then you can treat it exactly like watercolour paints and very quickly even with a very limited palette you can create a very simple scene but perfect to capture a holiday sketch another way you can do is um, use the pencil to sputter and Lastly, when you sharpen your pencils, don't throw the sharpenings away. Pick out the wooden part of the pencil, but if not all of it, some of it will um, it can brush off later. If you wet an area and then just tip your pencil sharpenings back over, you get a very intense version of it. But also, it's a really good way of adding um, texture to an area. I'll just wet that again. And we'll go with some pink, I think. And when you add water to that, the pencil wood will brush away. But you can see there you've got some really interesting 
textural pieces, great for foliage and um, foregrounds in landscapes. So there you go, four simple ways of how you can use watercolour pencils.